Welcome back to the show. The jokes come fast and furious in the funniest three minutes on television. Here's BS with Barry. I'm Barry Lavinac, and this isn't what happened in sports. Let's start in the NBA, where after being bounced from the playoffs, Paul George said he believes the Clippers would have won the series had Kawhi Leonard been healthy. I mean, I think that's what he said. It was hard to understand him over all the choking he was doing. Lamar Odom was ripped by a judge for not making child support payments even after making $40,000 from a celebrity boxing match with Aaron Carter. During the trial, the judge stated, where that money went, who knows? And then Lamar responded, my nose. Oh, you said who knows. My bad, I thought you said whose nose. In baseball news, the Yankees finally honored a little girl's request from 1961 who asked to be the team's first bat girl but was originally denied 60 years ago. Hopefully, this will inspire more little girls to make the Yankees look bad. It took six decades for the Yankees to do the right thing. So stay tuned for their 2077 We Cheated speech. Some Olympic news for you. Powerlifter Jimmy Cobb set a new world record by lifting 1,120 pounds. Up next for Cobb, telling every woman at the bar about it. For those of you not familiar with the sport, that 1,120 pounds, that's about a three and a half Andy Reid's. The previous record was set by Luka Doncic after carrying the Mavs all year. Don't hate me, Dallas. Olympic heptathlon hopeful Lindsay Flack announced she would be competing this year while 18 weeks pregnant. However, she will have to divide her scores by two. Fair is fair. <laughs> you just know she's gonna hold this over the father's head the rest of his life. Oh, you don't want to take the trash out. Well, I threw a javelin while carrying another human inside me, Frank. U.S. sprinter Shikari Richardson's Olympic status is in jeopardy after she tested positive for marijuana. Is that, is that what they refer to as a runner's high? <laughs> and finally, after being bounced from the tournament, France's soccer team revealed that during the Euro 2020 tournament, their coach had implemented a sex ban, or as the rest of us call it, marriage. And that's actually why France lost. Lack of scoring. Like literally nothing was going in for France. You know the players were like, great, 90 more minutes of not being able to use our hands. Thanks, coach. That coach is the worst wingman ever. That is a soccer pun, people. Keep up with this show. I'm Barry Lavinac. That's not what happened in sports.